Hey there guys, Gretchen here. This is day three. Welcome back. Release and recover you boo. Woo. <laughs> anyway, um, so today is going to be a bit different. Day one, you got my story. Day two, you got some information on how trauma is trapped in your body. Today is day three. Today we're going to be doing a Kundalini Kriya and a guided meditation. Um, so the Kundalini Kriya is called the Ganpati Kriya which is really great. I'm going to read this to you. This meditation is said to redeem all negativity of the past and present, smooth out your day-to-day -day problems, and create a positive tomorrow. It can change your luck and allow prosperity to flow. It allows you to let go of attachments to the mind and to the impact of your past actions so you can cr create and live a fulfilled life. Um, it's called the Gampati Kriya because it uses this beautiful and powerful meditation has a history in the name. The Hindu god of knowledge and happiness is Ganesha. The other name for Ganesha is Gunpati. Ganesha was depicted as a rotund man with the head of an elephant. This huge body balanced and rides on a rat, um, conveying the message that even the impossible can be done with this meditation. The rat represents the quality of penetration, and a rat can get in almost any place, so Ganesha can know anything and can get past any blockage. Can get past any blockage. That's what we're here for today, is to get rid of those blockages. Wisdom and wise choices grant you happiness in your life, and the impact of this meditation is to clear the blocks from your own karma. Um, each of us has three regions of life to conquer, the past, which is recorded in the samskaras, and which bring us the challenge and blessings of fate the present, which must be mastered by karma yoga, the practice of action with integrity in the moment, and the future recorded in the ether, and its best and most fulfilled is called dharma. So by doing this, we are um, correcting our trauma, not only in this lifetime, but of our past, our past in this lifetime, and our past lives, we're correcting that, we're working on our karma, and we're logging away good dharma, in the meantime, we're releasing those blockages from our bodies, our physical body, because we now know that it's physically kept, and our energy bodies to allow that right energy to flow to us. And we get rid of all those last little vegetables, those little crumbles, those little ookies, those little, those little, those little nuggies that just won't come out. So that's what this guy is meant to do. All right, so we're, I'm going to take a quick pause. I'm going to let you jump into something comfy. Grab your yoga mat. Take a quick drink of water. We're going to be in the uh, Kriya itself for 15 to 20 minutes. Then after that, you're going to lay down and get comfy. Make sure you have a nice light blanket. Make sure you're comfy for the second half of this. The second half of this will be a guided meditation. So basically, I will be reading to you. You'll have your eyes closed in a darkened room, and you'll just listen to the sound of my voice and allow your body to do the things that I'm instructing it to do. All right. So I'll meet you back here in just a minute. All right, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So we're going to sit in easy pose, whatever is easy for you. If this is not easy for you to be in for the next few minutes, then listen to your body and adjust. Sometimes it's easier if you just put a little bit of padding underneath you, an extra mat, a blanket, whatever, just lift that rear up a little bit, kind of corrects that spine. It makes it possible for you to sit in these positions for extended periods. Like I said, we'll be here 15 to 20 minutes. So this has several instructions to it. We're going to go through the instructions first. You're going to place your wrists over your knees, and you're going to go on the Gyan Mudra. The Gyan Mudra is the one where you make that L-S. So you're going to use the Gyan Mudra. Hands down, hands up, your choice. And pay attention, hands down mean you're, gr you're grounding and hands up mean you're ready to receive. But listen to you and do what you want. Your eyes are gonna be closed one-tenth of the way. So almost all the way, you're gonna be peering at this point on your nose, okay? Now we're going to chant. Satanama. But while we're doing that, Satanama. Then the second part is Ramadasa. Then sa se so hung. Okay. Satanama. Ramadasa. Sa se so hung. 
and we're going to do this in the next 15 minutes. So go ahead, make sure you're in position, close your eyes to that point, concentrate on that nose, and we will begin. Ramadasa, sa se so I messed that up, my apologies guys. Satanama Ramadasa Sa Se So Hum 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 Satanama Satanama Ramadasa Sa Se So Hum Satanama Ramadasa Sa Se So Hum Satanama Ramadasa Sa Se So Hum Satanama Sa se 
Again, more if you can, more sips, pulling up and in. Old, 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 old. Big exhale through your mouth, big exhale. exhale. Push all of that oxygen out of your body. Another big cleansing inhale. And big exhale. Now I invite you to go ahead, get yourself settled, get into a position you're going to be comfortable in. The next little bit. Um, get relaxed, as fine as straight as possible. Burn some incense if you feel like it. Take a quick drink of water, go pee before we start. We're going to be in guided meditation for the next little bit. Welcome back to the guided meditation portion of the video. Please be in a position where you're going to be comfortable for the next little bit with your spine as straight as possible. Beautiful. We're going to take a few cleansing breaths here, inhaling through your nose, big loud exhales through your mouth. On the inhale, expand that belly, make it as big as possible. And on the exhale, this long loud exhale, push all of the oxygen out of your body. Three breaths like that, I'll wait. Beautiful. Now, turn your attention to any sounds you may hear. Do not focus on them or name them, just acknowledge them. Beginning with sounds outside this building. Sounds inside this building.
sounds inside this room. Sounds of you. Turning your attention to your crown chakra. On the inhale, your body will be filled with a cleansing, healing, loving white light. And on the exhale, your body will begin to deeply relax. Beginning at the top of your head. Feel the relaxation down your forehead. Behind your eyes. Those little muscles behind your eyes and eyebrows. Relaxing your cheeks. Allow your tongue to relax from the roof of your mouth. Your face. Your jaw. Feel the breath escaping your lips as your jaw and chin relax. Relaxing the back of your head. Your throat. Your shoulders and shoulder blades. Relaxation, close down your arms. Into your wrists, hands, and fingers. Relaxing your right and left chest. Your upper abdomen. Relaxation flows into your middle abdomen. Your lower abdomen. Relaxing your upper back. Your middle back. Relaxation flows down your entire spine. Your right side body is relaxed. Your left side body is relaxed. Allow your lower abdomen to relax again. Relaxing your right and left groin. Your entire pelvic floor. Relaxing your buttocks. Your hips. Allow your thighs to relax. And your knees. Relaxing your calves. Ankles, 
feet and toes. Your entire right leg. Your entire left leg. Relaxation flows from the top of your head through the bottom of your feet. Your entire body. Your entire body is relaxed. Bring awareness to your breath, your natural breath. Sense the pattern at the soles. Allow each breath coming in to continue to relax you. With each exhale, your body easily relaxes. I am grounded. I am balanced. I am safe and secure. I am aware and at ease. Picture yourself in a protective white light. Happy, healthy, strong, laughing. Feel the love flowing through this version of you. You are on the top of a mountain. Beautiful sacred mountain surrounded by flowers, herbs so colorful, ancient trees, feeling very safe and secure. You see a path in front of you, an earthen path. You begin walking down this path. It's a bit damp, really earthy smelling, a deep forest smell. Dirt, mud, stick to your feet, your lower legs. You begin to slip, fall. You stand, carrying your backpack, water flasks on both hips. You wipe your hands off. You continue down the path. Continuing down the path, you see a blue mist and a shadow beyond that blue mist. It's a boulder in the middle of the path, blocking you from moving forward. You're walking towards the boulder. As you're walking, you feel an ancient power, a vibration coming from your hands. When you reach the boulder, you touch it. Pieces of it crumble away. How cool is that? You continue to work on the boulder, the blockage in your path, that thing that's keeping you from going forward, watching the boulder crumble in front of you, feeling the boulder crumble under your power, watching it turn to dust. boulder is gone. The healing, comforting blue mist remains on the path. You feel loved and shrouded in this healing, mystical blue mist. You come to a lake, breathtaking lake. You wash the dirt and mud from your body and hair, feeling lighter and cleaner, able to breathe, pausing for just a moment, cleansed, Staring softly across the lake, watching the water ripple, gazing at the red, orange, yellow, and pink of a sunset beginning in the sky, staring, 
feeling lighter and powerful. Opening your pack and you reach in and draw out some food. Sitting on the soft ground, rooting into the earth, relaxing. Mesmerized by the brilliant sunset over the lake, nourishing your body with healthy food and drink. Time to continue your journey. You leave a small offering of food for the forest animals at your picnic site. You rise and return to the water, washing the rest of the dirt and dust off, allowing the water of the lake, its beautiful, mesmerizing, peaceful lake, to renew your entire spirit, lifting you. Your eye, drawn by the colors of the sunset, Spot a different path, a smaller path. Your curiosity gets the better of you and you begin down it, a darkened path. The vines of the ancient jungle seemingly creep closer to you. You hear animals in the dark, not knowing if they are friend or foe. You feel eyes on you as you move down the path. The path is becoming more narrow can you get through here? You have to go back. You don't want to go back. You've come so far. Yes, this path is scary and narrow and dark and lonely, full of predators, but you keep going. You see a faint pink light. The path continues to narrow, making walking difficult your way through the obstacles, continuing down the ever-narrowing and treacherous path towards that faint pink light. The path is so narrow here, you drop to your hands and knees and crawl, crawl through a tunnel made from the forest itself, an entwining of roots and limbs, leaves. You crawl through this natural tunnel thorns and branches ripping at your clothes, your knees sinking into cold, heavy mud as you crawl, occasionally hitting a rock, sending shooting pains into your legs and your hips. You keep going, crawling through the dark towards the faint pink light you crawl. You emerge the other side of the tunnel, covered in mud and dirt, leaves, pieces of trees, shrubbery attached to your clothing and littering your hair. But you are through the tunnel, standing tall on your own feet, under your own power, feeling the power and the love of that pink light, that pink light that gave you hope through that darkened tunnel. Take a moment here, inhale, breathe in and really gaze at the sights you see, standing on the other side of that dark tunnel, covered in Mother Earth herself. In front of you 
That's a beautiful white bridge going over a wide waterway. Encompassing this bridge is your blue mist, like some sort of veil or gate to a whole new world. You begin towards the bridge, taking a moment to wade into the calm water and wash all the dirt, earth, leaves, and thorns stuck to you, releasing the weight from your feet, releasing the weight from your legs and your hips your stomach, the mud loosens from your elbows and arms. You pull the leaves and the thorns from your hair and clothes, letting the cleansing water gently help pull these away from you, leaving you light, leaving you happy and free. The warm winds dry you quickly, hair flowing in the brilliant sun, soul shining, feeling lighter, burdens gone, no more weights weighing you down. You continue to the bridge, place one foot on the bridge, the mist begins to rise. Stepping onto the bridge with the other foot, the mist rises further. With each step you take crossing this bridge, the mist rises and then disappears into nothingness, leaving you to be amazed at the sights on the other side. You see a beautiful mountains with waterfalls, brightly colored birds flocking together and flying in harmony like a song in the clouds. The animals of the jungle walk casually in and out of humans as though they too belong in this place. You step off of the bridge as soon as your foot connects to the ground on the other side. You feel it, home. You are finally there, your true place, your Shangri-La, your Shambhala. Each step you take strengthens you. You feel the cords on the bottom of your feet connected to the earth below you, pulling that pranic energy up into your physical and spiritual bodies, giving you back the power given away long ago. Pulling on the healing powers of the ancient earth, you feel the strength return to you. Continuing further into this world, your world, you find a path leading up to a temple. With each step of the temple, you feel the energies coming from around you, imbuing into you. You feel power and strength and love. Each step makes you feel lighter and grounded at the same time. Reaching the top of the path in the temple, you find a seat, your seat. sitting in the temple, you feel at peace. Finally, at a place of stillness, you feel the power of the temple being imbued into your body. You feel powerful. You allow the remainder of the blockages, dirt, dust, and all the things that you overcame along the way, those things that stuck to you, 
you allow them to fall away. You feel all of those things that you've collected, those things that have been forced on you to fall away. They physically fall away. They energetically and spiritually fall away. You feel a complete and total peace in this temple at the top of the path in this beautiful mountain way with waterfalls, brightly colored birds, animals weaving in and out of the path amongst the people, feeling peaceful, powerful, you feel that love, you feel true. The mist is rising, signaling it is time to return to this time and place. I am grounded, I am balanced, I am safe and secure, I am aware and at ease. Feel the ground beneath you, supporting you. Bring your awareness to your internal experience, allowing all thoughts, emotions and images to enter as messengers, leading you to your true self. Bring awareness to you before opening your eyes. Imagine where you are in the room and the objects surrounding you. Allow your eyes to open and close. When you're ready to bring movement back, wiggle your toes and fingers, allowing internal and external experiences to become one. There is no need to hurry. Until next time, namaste.